when people talk about growing their fashion brand and making more sales, the first thing that they usually ask me about is Instagram marketing, or certainly some kind of marketing. And while yes, that's important, there's a whole lot of other things that we need to consider as well, because it's all very well getting people in the door, but then what do they do? So this video is gonna look at website optimization to increase sales as a fashion brand. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Vicky, founder of The Fashion Business Coach, the platform that helps small and startup fashion brands to launch and scale successfully. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do or follow along depending on which platform you're watching on to catch our new weekly video that's absolutely free every single Tuesday. So this week we're looking at website optimization and I thought it was really important to make this video because day after day, I get people asking me about Instagram marketing and they wanna get their Instagram marketing better. And that's all well and good, but what happens after that? When someone, you've done your Instagram job really well, people have seen you, discovered you, come over to your website, then what's gonna happen? You really need to make sure that you're being strategic with the way that your website is laid out. And time and time again, I see people who have fantastic looking websites, they're really interactive, they have great images, they have all these fancy features and functions, but they're not built to sell. And I think the reason for this is a lot of people are working either with templates or hiring web designers who are focused on platforms for bloggers and business consultants, not for actually selling product. So it's super, super important if you are gonna hire somebody for this or buy a template, that it's specifically for e-commerce, for selling products, physical products on the internet, because that is a whole different ball game from someone like myself as the fashion business coach or for somebody who is selling digital products. It's totally different. I actually sell um, like products and services through the fashion business coach, as you probably know if you're watching this, but I also sell physical clothing products as a fashion brand. And even down to the website provider I use, the layout, the strategies is totally different between those two businesses because it's, you know, it's different customers. It's a different way of shopping. So if you are selling product online, the main thing that you need to help people with is what we call the know, like, and trust factor. And this is really important because it's gonna, the biggest barrier for the sale a lot of the time, if someone's already discovered you, already liked you, and therefore gone to your site, the biggest barrier to making the sale is usually gonna be down to trust. The person doesn't trust you enough to make the purchase. And that can be kind of on varying scales and various sides of the spectrum, so to speak. So it might be like, a real deep rooted fear that you're gonna take their credit card details and then sell them and then scam them and all that, all that kind of bad stuff, right? But it could also be something smaller than that. So they might be like, fine, you're not gonna steal my credit card details, but what happens if I get the product and it's not as described? Or what if I get the product and it doesn't fit me? Can I return it? Is it gonna be hassle? A lot of people shop with big brands that they know because they know that if the product isn't right, they can easily and often for free send it back for a no hassle refund or exchange or whatever they want. And that's often not the case with a small brand. So people need that reassurance that they're gonna be able to get some kind of comeback if they don't like the product or if it doesn't fit or whatever the problem might be. So one of your main jobs as a website owner, as a brand owner, is to build that trust. So one of the key things is gonna be having a clear returns policy and a fair returns policy as well. If you're here in the EU or in the UK, you are legally required to give refund options anyway. So definitely check that out. Um, if you're in this region, any government website's gonna have a ton of information on that. Um, but in general, you know, aside from the legal aspect, being fair to your customers and you know, customer satisfaction is really important to have a refund policy of some kind. You wanna make that really clear, not just in the T's and C's, but actually make it clear on the product pages. Reviews also go a long way to building trust, really, really a long way, and also any kind of social proof that you can get. So making sure that you have, you know, if you've worked with an influencer or if a customer's posted your product online, make sure you ask permission and use those photos on your product pages. So you've got that bit of social proof. And what I mean by that is a customer who's new to your brand can see, oh, they've been featured on so-and-so, or oh, look how good this customer looks in this product. And that can really help build the trust and encourage someone to make the purchase. 
So there's loads of different things you can do with your website to optimize and to increase sales, but they're the big ones, the, the ones that really build um, customer trust and give people confidence in buying from you. Another one along those similar lines is having really clear sizing information. Because as I'm sure you know, you might be one size in one store and then two sizes bigger or smaller in another store. So it's really important to have clear sizing information as well because people don't want the hassle a lot of the time of having to buy like three different sizes to figure out what they are. So make sure you have clear information on that as well. So if you haven't already, make sure that you're using a website, either template or having something added that allows you to easily do those things. These are really the very basics of e-commerce and selling product online. So make sure that you have those bases covered. If you're still thinking, okay, this is great. What else can I do? I'd not really thought about my website as a sales tool before. Um, do check out the link in description. I have got a free training series on this topic so that you can get access to that. And there's a few emails that go out with different topics um, specific to the website and improving your website. So make sure you have a look at that when you have time. Um, also feel free to get in touch. This is something that I help people with, building out their marketing strategy, doing website audits, finding ways that we can improve your brand and basically get it in front of more people and make more sales. So I'll put my contact information below as well. I hope this has been useful guys and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.